Hey guys, so this week I was playing around with the saber effect and came up with this. So stick around and I'll show you how to make this effect in less than 20 seconds. Let's go. Okay, first thing we're going to do is create a new comp. So I'm going to go with um, 1920 by 1080p and 25 frames per second. The background color doesn't really matter and I'm going to leave it at comp 1. Hit OK. From there, create a new solid. Just to make sure I know what I'm looking for, I'm going to rename it as Saber and hit OK. In the Effects and Presets panel, once you've installed it, drag and drop Saber onto the solid layer. And you kind of get this cool looking lightsaber effect straight away. Um, and these are just built into the preset. Now, I'll go through this once we're trying to adjust it, but right at the top you have um, default presets and there's quite a lot that come with it. Um, and it's worth having a, a look through and see what different effects that, that it comes with. I think this is like the third video I've done covering the saber effect. And oh my god, I can't talk about this free effect enough. It's so versatile and useful to know how to use and have in your back pocket. Back pocket? Back pocket. And I can't really praise it enough. It's honestly, it's worth downloading and having a play with. But right now, um, I'm just going to go to default. Next, I'm going to import some text. So new text layer. Okay. And in there, I'm going to type in my channel name. Okay. Doesn't matter what font, what text, whatever you're going to choose. Just set it up however. Don't worry too much about the color. Just choose the font and size you want. And I'm actually going to use this align panel to align it center. Perfect. Once it's aligned, make sure your text layer is highlighted. Then go to layer and go all the way down to auto trace. Now what auto trace does is trace around the object or text or whatever and it creates masks for you. Hit OK with this and it creates masks for you here. So instead of you spending hours of time drawing a mask around each letter, it's done it automatically. Now we don't need the text layer so you can delete that and we're going to open up the masks on this panel here. If we click highlight all of them and copy, click on Saver and paste them in to the master now there. We can turn off the, te the text, the auto text layer and now this isn't doing much, but don't worry. In the Saber effects panel, open up the render settings and go down to composite settings. From there, change the black to transparent. This is just saying we want the background to be transparent and not black. Then open customize core and under Saber, click on layer mask. This is now telling us to follow the layer mask rather than a line that's built in. Now, this works, but I'm kind of getting a blown out effect. So I'm going to change the glow intensity down a bit to say 15. And I'm going to hide the mask because I can't see it by clicking on this toggle switch here. There we go. And bring down the spread a bit. And... Oh, that's too high. Maybe bring it down to two. Perfect. And that's really how simple it is to do. Now, that's one thing to do with text, but say you want to do it with a logo and an, or an image. So let's create a new comp. And let's, again, create right-click, new, solid. Uh, again, name it Saber. Go to the effects panel and drag and drop this in again. Then I'm going to bring in say an image of the Tesla logo. Okay, I'm going to scale this up because it's way too small. Oh, I didn't realize I was on quarter, so I'll change that to four. There we go. And then again, make sure it's highlighted. Go to layer, go to auto trace, hit OK. We don't need the Tesla logo anymore, so you can delete it. Open up the mask copy the mask, paste the masks in, make sure they're there, and they are. Bro, don't need the top layer, so you can turn that off. Then in the effects and control panel, again, render settings, composite settings, transparent, 
and then customize core change from saber to layer mask again and test is too way too high let's scale this up because you really can't see it oh look at that it looks more like the tron logo how cool see and then let's change it to the signature red Now we can change this up and say add fire, have fire instead. Oh, look at the Tesla logo go. Oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. What if I bring the intensity down to say like 10 so you can see it a bit better. No, 25. Ah, that's good. Let's change the core size to about five. There we go. You can see more of the Tesla logo, but that's, that's so cool. Anyway. I'm off the point. So you can do logos. Um, and then finally, one last thing I want to show you is that if we start a new comp, so comp three, again, create new solid, hit OK. Oh, I didn't rename this. So if you click on the layer and hit enter on your keyboard, you can rename it. So saber, drag and drop the saber effect. And then this time I'm going to draw a shape, a circle. So let me move this into the center. Perfect. Okay. And then again in this, change the background to transparent. That is really a preference. You don't really have to. And then layer mask. And you've made a circle. Now, one thing I've done with um, trim paths um, that you, I've used in stroke in two two uh, video tutorials which I'll link down below which is a write on effect where you can um, tell After Effects which way to write on and write off and so on and you can use that with um, images text or shapes and symbols like this but one thing that's brilliant with Sabre is you, you don't have to drag stroke effect into it you can just create it using this so make sure you play heads at the beginning and I'm going to click on end offset and I'm going to change this from 100 down to zero and you can see automatically what's happening and then I'm going to go in a few frames and I'm going to pull out to 100%. Now if I hit play it'll work perfectly. Give my PC time to catch up. Do that again. Perfect. Again you can change glow intensity, spread, size, whatever, all of that later. Now Say you want it to come from the other way. So in this case, you would just use the star offset and change it, change the percentage just like the other way around. But instead of going from zero to hundred percent, you'd go hundred percent down to zero. It's pretty much that. It. The other thing I just wanted to show what was pretty cool. I found is that you can have a certain side that's more intense than the other. And that's the end size here. I don't know when this would be useful or how you would use it, but it's an option there. And that's pretty much it. Now, it's really simple to do once you know how to do it. And if you guys do have a play around with it, please let me know. I would love to see your examples. Now, just to point this out, it, once you know how to use it, it takes 20 seconds to actually do. So please, if you have a play around with it and you have some examples, please send it over. I'd love to shout them out and review them. Hit the like button to let me know if this content you enjoy. Hit the subscribe button. I'm here every week. So as always, stay inspired.